<laughs> Razor, pleasure to meet you. Jolie here, four seconds out. Um, let's talk to us first about how excited you are for your next fight, May 30. Thank you for for the opportunity. Uh, really excited. It's a huge opportunity for me to be on Free to Air Channel 5. And uh, thanks was a man, my, my promoter, for giving me the opportunity. So I'm just literally buzzing for the next fight. Yeah, I remember at the last press conference talking about your backstory and what you've come from. How much does it mean to be able to now be fighting on terrestrial TV, free for everyone to watch around the country, millions of people are going to be watching it? It's dream come true, you know, every day when I live this beautiful dream, um, waking up, uh, training full time and dedicating my life to boxing and being in the right place, it's dream come true. I'm grateful for it. Every second of my life, um, I just think about it like I'm here now. I just have to do my best and shine. What are the key attributes that you possess as a person that have gotten you to this position you're in right now in 2022? Um, it's, um, do you know, all those hard work, all those uh, sacrifice and everything. Um, I know it wasn't for nothing, you know, like start paying off now. Um, and being around these so many good fighters, um, obviously, I'm learning, I'm still for an old novice learning. Um, but the thing is, being around this many good fighters is it. it Spit up my process, you know, being a, uh, fighting on the card uh, for Linus for um, British Championship and um, Josh Kelly, experienced fighter. Um, so I'm just grateful and I don't know like how to react to this beautiful dream, you know. What would you say your overall goals are then in the sport of boxing? Would you want to take every step as it comes, of course, but World Championship aims? I'm, I'm not here just to have a good time or I didn't come this far to just just come far, you know. I'm here to to make legacy, to, to be one of the greatest. Um, it's a very, very long process to go. It's a long journey. But hell yeah, man, I came very long way so far. So um, I'm here to just make big name for myself. I'm here to make legacy. I'm here one day to be undisputed champion, become world champion. Uh, one step at a time, I'm learning, as I said. But like, it's not that far. A couple of years, four years, five years, you end up being a undisputed champion. In soon, European title uh, coming up uh, by end of this year, early next year. So it's just me doing my best. It's a really strong mentality you have. What is the reason you started off boxing? It's just from uh, where I came from. You know, from poverty background, um, uh, from a ghetto. Everyone needs to fight to survive. So uh, just me not being dead on the street i end up being at the gym and that's where i am today when did you realize this could become a career for you how old were you um i started fighting kickboxing because obviously i come i come from different background of martial arts you know uh, kickboxing uh, muay thai i started uh, when i was at eight i was like around uh, obviously i was winning all my fight i was excited about it when i was like 14 15 I, I won my um, uh, Iranian championship and I just, you know, got to know that I can do this for the rest of my life. You know, that can be my career, that dream come true. It's a beautiful life to be champion and to live like a champion. So outside of boxing, are you still a martial arts fan? Do you still watch boxing and martial arts? What do you do when you're not fighting? Um, mainly watching boxing to learn. Um, not really into kickboxing or Muay Thai anymore, but I travel a lot to uh, Thailand. So whenever I go there, I get the opportunity to be around Thai boxer. You know, it brings back my, my old memories again, being around the, those, those world. You know, it's, it's cool. Yeah. You know, it's, the, the, the com community of kickboxing and Muay Thai is, is very friendly, you know, um, very respectful and it's entertaining as well. You know, I like it, but I don't watch it that much anymore. Enough. Well, I really appreciate it, Sam, my friend. Good to meet you. Thank you for that.